Here are the tests on my 1995 Comfort Height Mansfield Alto. I used a little drop of acid to remove the rust that was covering up the water line but as soon as the acid touched it, the water line just disappeared. But this is pretty close to where it was. It's using the original flush valve. So let's give this a flush and see how it does on tests. I really like the flush on these. I like that strong siphon at the end, but unfortunately it does not look like it has the best bowl rinse. For the first test, let's see if it can pass a washcloth. I think it will do perfectly. As expected, did perfectly. Now let's see if it can take a grocery bag. Considering how small the trapway opening is on this toilet, I'm not too sure whether it will take this or not. I don't have high hopes, but there's always the chance. That's about what I expected. Wow, okay, these do not like bags. There we go. That was not so great. Now let's see if it can take the washcloth and the grocery bag together. Since it did so badly with just the bag, I'm not expecting it will do very well with both of them together, but I've seen toilets surprise me before, so I'm just going to give it the chance to surprise me again. Looks like it sucked it pretty hard there at the end. I'm gonna see if I can make it take it angled. Nope, the mass is just too big. Now let's see if it can pass a dish towel. I'm guessing to see the same results as the grocery bag. It's got the suction power, that's for sure, but that small trapway opening is not doing it any favors. I'm gonna pull this out. There's like no water in the bowl right now. And I'm just going to hold the handle and see if it can pass. Yep, yeah, stopped at the opening. It's just too small. Now let's see how it does on a dirt test. It's not really sticking to the sides the way I'd like it to. I did not do a mineral clean out in the rim, but I looked and there is absolutely nothing. I do remember that this didn't have the greatest bowl rinse when I was flushing it before, but I guess all we can do is just hope for the best.
Looks like it did all right getting it out of the bowl, and that was just something I was using to prop up my phone. But the rinse right here is not good. Didn't do too great around the sides. That's really bad. That's like Glacier Bay level bad. Looks all right over here. I'm just gonna set this back here and give it another flush. Yeah, that bull rinse is not something it should be proud of. You guys remember what happened to that Kilgore Alpha with the bad bull rinse? Well, I'm not gonna do it to this one because unlike those, I actually really like these. So anyway, now let's see how it flushes with a clogged siphon jet. But I'm gonna fix some stuff up real quick, get that dirt cleaned off and reposition my phone. Now let's see how it flushes with a clogged siphon jet. I think it's not going to siphon because there are two types of water saving flush valves. There is one that is timed by how long it takes to fill with water and another that's timed by a float. And the one it's got in it now is one that is timed by how long it takes to fill. So it is going to use less water than it does on a normal flush, which makes me think that it will not siphon. But I guess we'll see. It actually looks like I was wrong about the flush valve. I think that one is timed by a float inside. I'll have to take a look at it because I honestly don't really know how those work. So I'm gonna do another flush, but this time I'm gonna hold the handle. That was pretty cool. That siphon almost reminded me of an Elger Sanus. I really like that. I really like this toilet in general, even though it's not really the best. But anyway, that's about all for these tests. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.